Hello everyone and welcome. Make a cup of your favorite drink and get comfortable because this is a wonderful time for new stories from Yellowcad. Send your own stories in the comments below and maybe they'll be in our new video. What is the fastest you have ever seen a new coworker get fired? I had a new mechanic come in the shop out of orientation, so about two hours as an employee. They sent him to me to show him some ropes in the shop. What he didn't know is that I'm the owner slash president slash CEO of the dealership, heavy equipment and truck sales and service, 380 employees. I spend two days a week in the shop because that's what I like to do and, well, it's my company so I can. Within the first five minutes, he questioned my expertise. Okay, no biggie. He doesn't know who I am or anything about me, so I tell him, don't worry yourself. There's only one guy here who has more experience than I do. The next five minutes was telling me I'm an idiot for doing something a specific way and there's shortcuts I can take. There is, but those shortcuts negate warranty payments, so I tell him it's a requirement to do it this way. He rolls his eyes, then tells me, no one will ever know about it, and it'll help your flag hours. I reply, it is 100% about doing the right thing, and that's how we operate here. We do the right thing by the customer, the manufacturer, and the company. Then he says, I do right by me, not the idiot CEO, so he buy a new truck every year. So I said, well, my truck is 12 years old, and this is your last day of work. Hi there, I'm the owner. That's my name on the big sign. Nodded to the floor manager and told him to process him out of my company. Total time on the job, 2.5 hours. Be careful out there, people. Not all bosses wear suits and hide in offices. I worked in maintenance at a beach resort. One of the housekeepers managed to get her delinquent son a job as a runner, someone who would collect the dirty laundry after the housekeeper stripped the bed. She was actually worried when he started working because I guess he had a bad track record with other jobs. About three days after he started working, his mother confronted him about his new expensive looking athletic shoes and a gold chain around his neck. He just shot back something about having a job now which didn't make sense because he hadn't even been paid yet. Anyway, about the same time, there was a couple of reports at the front desk by guests who were missing large sums of money. A police report was made and people were questioned. So after only four days, this kid was fired and went to jail for stealing from guest rooms. New guy, hired as quality control inspector after a lot of vetting. Job site was aluminum extrusion factory. Lots of hot, sharp, and heavy things that can crush your hands and slice you up, not to mention all the moving parts. Shows up first day on the job reeking of beer. I was just celebrating my new job with my friends before work. Refused the booze blow test at a nearby hospital. Paperwork completed and fired after 90 minutes by the supervisor and HR. New person joins company. On her first morning, she wrote an email to her manager how grateful she was to be with the company, how she looked forward to working for us, and on and on. She also wrote an email to her friend about how she'd got a cushy gig and would scam them for as much training as possible for the first couple of months and then leave. Apart from the general lack of wisdom of saying this on the company email system, when writing such contradictory emails, it is vitally important to put the right addressee on the right email. Walked out the door after 2.5 hours. We had a guy start in London on a Monday as large contingent left for a conference in Seattle later that week. I met him at Heathrow with his badge and laptop on his first morning and boarded the flight with him. Longish story, but he ended up slapping a member of the flight crew because she wouldn't let him sit in business class. I called HR when we landed and fired him in baggage claim. We paid for him to fly back to the UK next day. I worked at a bill collection firm in the early 90s, don't judge me. A guy started working there, went through the two days of training, then started working. After about an hour, he got up and left. Didn't say I quit. Didn't say this job isn't for me. Didn't say F you. He just got up to go to the bathroom, went through the front door, and drove away. 
It took the managers a few hours to figure out that this guy got the job with a fake name and erased his own debt on the computer. Our CEO rarely sent all company messages unless there was great news or some major event slash holiday slash emergency, etc. One day he sends an email reminding everyone something about an extra day off everyone earned hitting a major deadline and how and when to use it. New woman in accounting, looked like a nice 50-something Dallas church lady, hits the reply all and writes, I suppose we all should bow down to Mr. Generosity for the measly day off. Meanwhile, she never worked on the project or was affected by long hours. When she realized what she did, the other finance people in her area heard a gasp come from her desk and without saying a word to anyone, she picked up her purse, took a box, added her personal items and walked out the door to her car, never to be seen again. I used to train new hires at a warehouse. We have a floor for robots to zoom around on full of merchandise and cold spite. Only certified technicians may set foot on that floor. The rest of us? instant termination if we do it. We stress this frequently throughout orientation. I'm training a group of new hires at a workstation. It's their first night. Not even lunch yet. One of our managers comes over to introduce himself. One guy, who has already been copying an attitude, asks him about stepping on the floor. Manager reiterates what we all told everyone. Do it and you're fired. Guy, you mean don't do this? puts one foot on the floor, and away he goes. I heard the rest of the new trainees laughing over how stupid he was. He was even whining about it the whole time his termination was being processed. I'm just glad I didn't get stuck training that snotty, dim-witted little pain in the A for two days. When I worked at Babies R Us many years ago, a fine young lad wrote on the break room whiteboard, FB's Higher Dimes. For some reason, it escaped him that there are cameras pretty much everywhere. Done after maybe three days on the job. Unrelated, but I used to work at a Toys R Us slash Babies R Us combo, and on this dude's last day, right before he left, he put up flyers in the break room proclaiming the benefits of unionizing. We were all interrogated individually, and management freaked the F out. As far as pranks go, that one was pretty good. Three and a half hours. She started the same day as me. Partway through the morning, I told a couple of jokes to break the ice. She said she had a couple of good ones and started off with, What do you call an N who... She went for lunch and never returned. A number of years back, I worked at an inbound call center that also had an upsell side to it. A new guy, fresh out of training, was bragging about how he could do over 10 times the monthly goal in his first week alone. Didn't see him the following week and heard he was laid off because he was upgrading everyone's plans who called into the highest coasting plan without their consent or informing them. About a week or two later, I got a text from him asking if I could be his reference for a new call center job he got. He somehow got a hold of a bunch of our numbers and just spammed everyone asking for a reference. Call Center Worker New beginner came in hungover as S on the first day of the job. Within two hours of their shift, they struggled to look at a computer for more than 10 minutes, couldn't form a coherent sentence, walked away from the desk without a word, only to just full-on faceplant on the floor of the office. I'm sure the actual termination took longer, but it was obvious they lost their job the moment they walked in like a zombie. I've been doing call center work for a few years now. I don't mind it, and it's zero stress slash responsibility work that I can just put down the moment the clock ticks past kicking out time. I've seen S loads of new people not last the first day. Most walk out, but a few have been brilliant crazies. We had one girl who, within an hour of starting, had signed up to a number of job search sites using the help team email address that the whole center uses, hundreds or more of us, and all our emails suddenly started pinging with results for her job searches. She used her own name on all the accounts, yet still fervently denied it when pulled up about it. 
we were in stitches. Because she wouldn't just admit it and lie to the faces of the supervisors on shift. They had to call in the big boss on a Sunday to give her the heave-ho. It was excellent entertainment. I've seen lots now though. Junkies on the nod, junkies with swinging jaws and three teeth, crazy guy with the knife. He was really funny. At one point, just stomping around the break room talking to himself saying, knife, 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 over and over again. People who have clearly exaggerated their way through an interview and then panicking when faced with a job, all sorts. We once had someone start who was there a few hours before someone realized she'd been sacked from another area of the business for theft. Guy at a fish factory lasted half a shift before he was fired for refusing to adhere to any health and safety rules. Later got told it wasn't uncommon for people like that. They had to be seen to be applying for jobs to keep their benefits, would lose them if they quit, but could get them back immediately if fired. Worked in a warehouse. Minimum staff, temp workers during peak times. Asked my boss for a temp or two for the next day as I wasn't keeping up and we had a truck coming in. I get one temp. I put him to work cleaning and sorting a corner of the warehouse while I got as many orders pulled as I could before the truck came in. 15 to 20 minutes later, I go looking for him and he's nowhere I asked him to be. I find him in the other end of the complex pushing a broom. I drag him back to the corner I brought him in to sort. 10 minutes later, around 9am, the truck arrives as scheduled and we need to get it unloaded. I go looking for him. Not in his corner. Find him sweeping again. I tell him the truck showed up. I bring him to the loading dock and I climb up inside to get the top row out. I pass a handful of boxes to him. Is this what we do? Yes, 8 hours a day, 5 days a week. This is too hard. I'm going home. I hop out of the truck and walk him to the boss's office. Never saw him again. Total time, barely more than an hour. The place I worked at had a required two weeks of training they were very upfront about. You were given a schedule ahead of time and had to agree you could make it before being hired. Day one saw one person fired for leaving partway through the day. Day four saw another person leaving because she didn't like it. Day eight was a testing day to see what areas, if any, the class needed to spend more time on before moving to the in-person stuff with a trainer on the floor. A question was worded poorly and it caused a lot of confusion. The trainer said he would not count the question as many of us got it wrong due to its ambiguity. One of the girls in the training class told him, Good, you should remove it or else no one would have found your body tomorrow. HR manager was literally standing in the doorway while that was being said and freaked out because threatening to murder a coworker over a test question is the opposite of professional. Needless to say, the girl was told she wasn't the right fit for the company. Thank you for watching. Guys, thank you for all the support and likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. See you next time.